I think for anyone that hasn't had an opportunity to try Fiasco, I think it's a bit of a game changer when it comes to the, the frozen dessert category. Well, gelato for me is, is kind of a weird one. I never, if you would have asked me five years ago if I thought I would be in the gelato biz, I don't think I would have said yes. But when I look at it today, it's an opportunity for me to exercise uh, a lot of my skill set, which is uh, branding, uh, brand identity. Um, I'm, I'm super in love with small business and, and the local aspect, uh, handcrafting product. Uh, and it happens to be one of very few products that the end user is always happy about. She's a nine-year-old Italian straight from Italy. Uh, it's named after James's uh, grandmother who owned the heating company a couple years ago. And uh, she was really, really one to strive and do things to the best of her ability. So we named it after her uh, in loving memory. And then uh, our newest addition to the team is uh, this guy here. His name is Enzo. We got him uh, just this year a couple months ago. And uh, they're the same model, it's a couple years, couple, uh, years newer. It feels really good to know that I can, I can be in here and, and uh, organize this product being made and then I see the reaction on Twitter. Yeah. yeah, and the people are just so jacked about it that I've never met all the way in Toronto and they're just so excited about it and I'm like, I can say, yeah, I did that. I, I, you know, if somebody called me Willy Wonka when we did PB and J Gelato. Yeah. I said this is some Willy Wonka type shit, and I never ever thought about Willy Wonka at all. <laughs> and then at that point, I was like, that's kind of neat, you know, like like when you when you watch the movie and you look back and him being a bit of a, a unique bird and, and doing his thing, uh, but just the happiness that it created. It's fun to serve food. It's fun to 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 be a restaurant tour. There's all these cool things, but to be in a situation where you know, the products we create every day are like excitement products. Mm -hmm. People are excited about what we do. They're never like, oh, I vanilla bean, I don't want to have that, you know, like, <laughs> or like, oh, let's go for gelato. No, that's a bad idea. Like, that's never happened. <laughs> Uh, I think for Fiasco, there's there's a few things on the plate right now. Um, we want to extend our reach a little more. We're going to be offering pints in specialty grocery stores. Uh, our new concept of a Fiasco Sweet Boutique will be launching in 2013, um, which will give uh, people that we were already in touch with a, a little more of a, an opportunity to engage on a, a daily basis. And the big thing for me now is extending our reach not only from uh, enriching the lives of, of the customers we serve, but also the staff. So we've got a pretty cool culture here, and uh, it's just been super fun to, to build. Find out more by visiting their website at fiascogelato.ca, and be sure to follow them on Twitter.